Howdy folks, welcome to episode four. We're going to, um, you know, we should probably chop these trees down while we're here, right? While we're up here. Let's chop these, oh man, I hope those don't smack into my train, right? Hope those don't smack into my engine or my cars and knock everything off. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to add the, um, the smelter today. And let's see if we've got more trees we can knock down over here. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna add the smelter. Let's get these out of here too, so it doesn't, doesn't look so ridiculous. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go put in the smelter, and it's up there. So we're gonna go up this way, and I'll show you where it's supposed to be. It's in this field up here. So we're gonna have to go up that. Yeah, it's in this flat area over here. And so let's look on the map. It is right here in the middle of these. So we just moved a little bit farther along the plains here. And then it's facing west. So we want it to be, yeah, we want it to be facing this way. And so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna put in industries, smelter, and we're gonna go this way. That looks like it's about right. So we're going to go this way and then we're going to put this down here. There we go. All right, let's see how that looks. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. But that's pretty much where it is in the other place. It's just it's just aligned to the east-west axis. I don't think that's going to matter here that much. So we'll want to probably clear out a few trees. So I, I think I mentioned this last episode, but I don't think it's going to be possible or practical anyway. I'm sure it's technically it's possible. It's just not practical um, to to make a, a tree editor this time, unfortunately. Um, the problem is that the XY locations of these are not anywhere in the save. So there's no way to correlate which thing you're doing on the map on the overhead map with which tree is actually in on the map in the game so um yeah there would I mean you could you could <laughs> you could technically find the locations of those it would just be a whole lot of work I mean it would be an extreme amount of work and they have improved the tree chopping so it's pretty good now um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom of the hill and work our way up. So I think that's what we'll do is we'll go back to the, whatchamacallit, we'll go back to the other, other uh, the, not the ironworks, the, the iron mine, and we'll work our way up here, down, going down the hill. So we'll see what the hills we have to get over. And I think what we're gonna do is instead of trying to come straight up this hill, we're gonna have to kind of work our way around this hill instead. So we're gonna have to like use this hillside over here and this hillside over here and then this one here. So we're kinda gonna work our way around. If you see here, we're gonna come up this hillside and kinda skip across this one and then when we can work our way back around and then do that. So we'll see, we'll see what it takes. I think we're gonna try to stick to 3% grade again as we did before. I'm not sure where, here, here's the ending of the track. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here. We're gonna demolish that rail and we're gonna go like this and we're gonna go up to 3%. There we go and we'll see what all we can do. Oh, we're at 100, that's why. I'm like, why is it, why is it doing that? Okay, so at 3%, see, we're going to have to cut to here in order to make it. So it's going to be, that's going to be a tough, that's going to be a tough ask, isn't it? I don't know if we may, may need to move the other thing back a little bit. Do we need to move the other one back? We might need to. Okay, and then that's going to come back around this way. So we're, we're, we're going to want that to not turn this way. Yeah, we're going to want it to be that, which is actually going to make it even sharper, isn't it? 
Let's see how that looks. That's going to be, oh man, that's going to be really tough, isn't it? I mean, we're going to take off going up this hill, so it's going to be somewhat of a, a little bit, we're not, we're not going to have to worry too much about going super fast up that corner. Let's get these trees out of here just so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, this, th I, I got to say the tree chopping is really responsive now, so I don't feel so bad about it about having to do so much logging and then we can leave that tree there all right so what we want is we want a segment here to be going around okay demolish this and I think we might use the um, the wall I think the wall makes more sense here so we're gonna go like this and we want to be like around this corner So like right over here. And over this way a little bit. Like that. See how that looks? Is that gonna be too? I mean the other thing is we can start curving this a little bit earlier too. Why don't we get this off of this track? What is our fuel level here? We're still at 20. Okay, we're not gonna add any then. Because this thing is gonna end up this thing's going to end up going, uh, whatchamacallit anyway. It's going to go cold on us. So we'll get this track off of this, or we'll get the, the train off of this segment of track. And then we can rebuild that from there out. There we go. All right. And I think when we come back up, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the, um, we're going to bring three of one and one of the other. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to, yeah, let's demolish the rails first. Get rid of this track up here. Let's make sure that we're not actually deleting stuff we don't need to delete. Okay. And then we're going to go like this, three foot rail. Do we want to do this so we're not fighting with the... Why is it not wanting to connect? There we go. Okay. Connect there. And then let's see what kind of... 1.5%? It looks like, yeah, it looks like 1.5%. Okay. We do need to make a note of that. And I, I'm pretty sure that coal is non... Or the oil... It's not coal and it's not oil. It's iron. I'm pretty sure the iron is non-colliding... But yeah, what we'll do is we'll go here and then we can start our t curve because that'll help us here. That'll help us get around this curve a little bit easier. So we're going to go 3%. And then we're going to try to go like this and we're going to see what it gives us as far as, as a curve, how much that curves out from the thing. Okay, we're going to try this, and let's see how that looks. Is that, which one is, which one is which? I think we curved in a little bit too much. Because we're not going to be, are we going to be able to get past the hill? Let's see, is that going to let us get past the hill? Actually, yeah, I think it will. I still want to curve a little bit less though. Okay, let's we're going to demolish these the ones we just put up and we're going to try again. But yeah, it looks like uh you know what? I should have I should have looked at that before. <laughs> I should have looked at what the curve looks like before we did that. All right, we're going to leave the other one up until we get this in here. We're going to try this again. We're going to go this way and we want to be out here and actually we probably do want it yeah we want to be pretty close to this okay so like that we're going to demolish this rail here i guess we do need to take that tree out i was going to leave that tree there just like as a deco thing but see that leaves us that still leaves us underneath the iron outlets cool okay so and we'll get rid of this one too logging not demolishing rails. All right, 
and then we're gonna go should we make a bridge I think we should whoops I think we should do a bridge. hey they actually made a toggle we should do bridge you can actually turn that off with the toggle we're gonna do this bridge we're gonna do new I think we want to do it the other way let me see yeah we want to do it the other way okay so once we do this we're gonna re we're gonna redo it backwards because we want the rail on the other side so can we get up this hill it's so close man it's so close I'll bet if we went 4% all the way up it would let us up the hill but let's see what we can do as far as we need to be able to to get around this corner this is gonna be really tough it's not I don't think this I don't think we're gonna make it here let's try going over this way a little bit more a little bit like that will it let us it won't even let us lay the track down no it's not gonna let us lay the track down oh that's too bad there's got to be a way to get through. See, the problem is this is going straight for way too long. That's why. We don't want it to be like that. Let's go like this. Let's go five. We're going to go circle mode. And then we're going to go like this. See, we can get around this corner. All right. That's a 30 meter radius. We're going to see what radius we need in order to hit this hill here. So we're going to go like this. It looks like it's going to be about 40, 45 meter. 40. Let's try 40, because it looks like we're going to need to do this to, because you can't get more than about, what is it, about 140 degrees, something like that, right? We're going to go like this. Yeah, see, that'll let us get along the corner. Cool. Okay. So we're going to go this way. We're gonna put this back up and instead of doing the fixed corner, we're just gonna get our angle here. See, we can even come around this corner a little bit. Is that gonna work? No, we'll come around this way first. There. Like that. Okay, and then we can lay our wall again. We're going to do more walls. And we'll see what it takes to get around this. Around this corner. See if we can get up this. Can we make this hill? Yeah, we can. Cool. Okay, so that means we can start going up this, right? Like this. So we want to we don't want to make the turns too sharp but we want to kind of keep on this upgrade here you know what let's do this since we can we're going to use this rail again and then we're going to come along here okay so we're going to want to turn the other way again so we'll go like this Let's see where we can go over the peak. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then it looks like I think we can go up those hills up there in the background. Let's see if we can get around this. Let's see if that'll do it. Are we underneath the grass? We're underneath the grass, but not the dirt. Okay, so let's see how much of a curve we can get into here. We might not even need to go much along that either. Let's see how much we can get around this corner. Okay, so it looks like we're going to start to hit the hill here. So we'll go like this. And we'll bring this, oh, that's right, okay. We're going to go across this little chasm, aren't we? Oh, I see, we're going to go over this and through the flat stuff. So we're going to want to 
if we follow along this ridge, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. I think what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to kind of go along this flat thing to get up to here, maybe. Let's see where we're at. Because I think it's just up this hill is what we need, right? Yeah. Okay, so we need to go up that hill. The thing I don't want to do is I don't want to make some giant climbing bridge going across the open thing, but I think that might be the only realistic way to do it. You know? If we go like this, see what kind of climb we do. Because this is going to be we want to go parallel with this. We want to end up parallel with this, right? So we're going to go something like this. I'm not sure if that's going to bend back the other way first. No, that looks that looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it does bend back the other way. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to go out that way and we're going to go out that way though more though. So we need to come up here and land like up here instead. And then I think what we need to do is divide this into a few smaller parts too because this is kind of terrible. See how long the segments are? So we want to come up to here maybe. Let's see how this one looks. Does that look more reasonable? Yeah, see it's like coming straight off. Okay, cool. So we're going to delete this one. We're going to get rid of some of these trees so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Alright. I like how they knock into each other too. It's kind of cool going right, right next to this tree stands, right? We'll get rid of this one here and this one here. Okay, so yeah, I think what we'll end up doing is we'll have to we'll have to replace that with a a couple of pieces. That's not too bad either. I was thinking it was going to look really terrible. It was going to be like this ridiculous sky bridge kind of thing. And I think we might even come back a segment. Let me see. And kind of make this go a little bit more that way. Instead of trying to make this super hard turn. Right? What if we go here, three foot, not that one, three foot rail, we're going to go here, we're going to come around like this, and then do our bridge, we'll come around like this, and then have our bridge point that way and I think we will do the back and forth a little bit <laughs> nice where our bridge kind of comes this way first oh that's our we're doing radius that's why where our bridge does this first and then comes and then swings back so we're gonna bring it this way yeah we'll bring it this way and then we're going to connect it again, and then we're going to come back this way. And then we're going to connect this one and see if we can get this parallel. And it won't be such a long, terrible, long segment, right? It still looks like it's going to be a little sharp. There we go, like that. Not necessarily sharp, but jaggedy, like this one is really jaggedy. Okay, and we'll see if, what we can do as far as getting this around the corner. I think we just need bricks. We just need the the brick things from now on. Demolish rails, that one. Okay, and I think we need to demolish the other ones, back here. Yeah, we need to get rid of this. Oh, and one more. Okay, demolish rails this one here okay so now we can go around this corner a little bit more gently 
We'll come up with that. Oh, that's too bad. Too bad I logged all that stuff, right? See, because now I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to cut out... Whoa, wow. <laughs> that was interesting. I'm going to have to cut out more of these. There we go. I had already had the tunnel. I, I shouldn't log until we get it finalized, right? There we go. All right, let's see how that one looks. That one looks fine. It's next to the track, but it's not in the way. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. So we're gonna do our stone wall here. And let's see if we can, is that gonna loop there? No, it just did it at the beginning. Okay, and we're gonna try to climb up this hill as best we can. And it looks like this is where our curve is going to be. Okay. How's this look? That looks nice. I'm going to climb along this hillside here. Like that. And then can we make it over this ridge? Yeah, we can, just barely. Like this. Cool. Okay. And then we're going to see if we can make it over this next one, too. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So we're going to go up this. How's that look? That's kind of cool. I just noticed on the lower right it says game saved. I don't think I've seen that before. I'm sure it's happened before, but I didn't notice it, is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. And we'll leave, we're going to leave this tree for now. So we still need to go up a little bit, I think. See where we can start curving up this hill maybe it's still climbing up a hill isn't it we're gonna go right through the middle of this forest aren't we okay we're gonna do this we need to stay off the hills and then we'll see what we can do going through this forest it's gonna be hard to tell where our track even is in this forest is this just a... Oh, it goes really high there. Okay. It's too steep there. We're going to have to go around. <laughs> what is that? Why is it doing that? Oh, is that it, that segment ends there. That's why. Okay. Yeah, we can't go into the forest. We're going to have to go around it. So we're going to go back to here. And we'll continue our wall right here. I, we might even want a bridge here. We'll see. Is it even going to make it? Are we going to be able to make it up here? Where can we get through here? At 3%. Anywhere? I don't know if we're going to even make it. No, this is too tall. Okay. We're going to have to go around this way. Yeah, we're going to have to come around to here. Okay. It's going to have to come up to here. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get, um, we're going to need to bring this back even another segment, I think, because we're not going to be able to turn very well there. So let's demolish this. See, it's a good thing we didn't do a bunch of logging there. And then we're going to go over to that thing. So we're going to take it back one more segment. And I think we're going to go across with a bridge. We're going to use a bridge to go across this because otherwise it's going to get kind of ugly. So we're going to use these, because I think we're going to replace these. We're going to make them go the other way, put the railing on the other side. All right, because we want our the other end of our bridge to be here. Let's see? There we go. And it's not going to let us because it's too tall. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to come through here 
like this if we can. I think what we need to do, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do a um, a corner, a circular corner instead of this. So we're going to go like this. And then we're going to go, yeah, we're going to do a circuit, circular corner. So let's go like this, put this in. We're going to do number five. There we go. And let's see what our 30 meter circle does. Our 30 meter circle is still pretty wide or pretty narrow. try that and then we'll see if it'll let us go from there we might need it to, to mess with the clock again it looks like that'll let us do what we want to do I think we can get I don't think the valley floor is too low here there we go okay so we need to get up on top of this so we can see what we're doing because we need to come around this Where'd it go? It's way over there. <laughs> All right, there we go. Can we come around that? Yeah. See, that's much that's much better. Much better. Okay. Whoops. And then we're gonna come around this, and I think we're gonna use the the walls here. And the night should go really fast. I think we're on like one or two minute night, so it's it's pretty quick. So see what we can do here. I like how that doesn't basically doesn't do anything. And we want to come up the side of the wall here. I just want to see where we're gonna hit the hit the terrain. I don't know that we're even going to be able to turn around. We're going to be so going the opposite direction and everything else by the time we get up here. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Yeah, see, we're way down here. It looks like we can maybe crawl up this and then come around. I think we're going to be going past, I was going to say we're going to go past the logging camp. It's almost like we could just extend the logging camp to come up there, <laughs> right? The problem is I think that's really steep. Is that the logging camp down there? Yeah, see that logging camp is way down there. It's not It's not one you could really extend to get up there because it's that would be super steep. Okay, we might even need to just make a turnaround instead of this because we're not going to be able to get up this thing, are we? This is just so much, um, so much, this, this right here is such a sharp turn. Let's see. I mean, they really wanted to make it uh, <laughs> challenging to get up to the, to the thing. Can we lay a track there? Nope. Okay. It's not going to let me. All right. What is our options gameplay? Why is it still so, oh, let's go 0600. Back. I swear the night is like way longer. <laughs> I swear it's way longer than it was. So uh, what I'm thinking is we can do something here where we come into here and then back up. You know what I mean? And then go back up the hill this way. I'd like to make a switch back. I think that's probably a better way to handle this. So let's see if we can maybe do that. Because this this whole thing seems like it's going to be kind of ridiculous. So let's try to go like this. Is it going backwards? Yeah, it is. Okay. We're going to try this first. We're going to try to make the switch back. 
before we there we go before we uh, erase everything the bridges because we might need to put the bridges back might decide it sucks anyway right okay so what we want to do is we want to come out here and then what we're going to do is we're going to branch to the to one side okay we are going to need to go farther than this because we want to come out here and then branch up the hill branch so that we're going up the hill right and so that's going to be like this because we want to be able to we need to go past the switching point too can we see there we need to be able to go past the switching point for some distance before we before we come back so if we put the switch here see we still need to go out a little bit more okay go like this let's go like this we're gonna go in a straight line for a little bit here okay and then we're gonna put our switch on here and that's gonna be a switch to the left yeah that's gonna be a switch to the left and it's gonna go the straight piece is gonna be the one we want to connect to did it just it totally it totally did it totally screwed up let's try that again <laughs> and now it's in the way demolish rails get that out of the way we're gonna go switch left like that okay so we need see that's the problem we're gonna run into this hill so we need to come out this way more okay we're gonna take this out of here yeah we need to go out this way a little bit more okay let's let's start over on this we're gonna come out this way and then there we go okay that looks good and then we're gonna come out straight for a bit right because we need we need to be able to come off the switch and still here I'll show you what I mean switch left We, do we still need to be able to climb up this hill? That's what we need to make sure that we can do before we carry on with this. 3%. <laughs> what is it doing? All right. 3% grade. And we can climb up the... See, that's the thing. We can't... We can't get that wall in the way too much, I think. Because our train's not going to get through that. That's going to hit that, I think. Okay. So we need to demolish this. Let's get let's get a small segment here or we'll put it lower, something like that. Let I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if maybe this will do it. Yeah, that'll probably do it. If we go like this. How's that look? That looks like it'll work. And then we can just put our wall in here. Like that. And then our wall can continue going back up the hill here. See? There we go like that 
Okay, so before we get too far here, we need to extend this one out. We're going to go like this. We're going to go like that. And we're going to bring it into the hill. Should we... Should we make it... We're going to make it flat. And we'll just bring it into the hill. That's fine. So is that going to be enough distance for us to get our four cars on there? Right? Because we're not going to be bringing more than four cars, I can tell you that much. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> maybe we can maybe we can put a little shunting thing in here too or something. But yeah, we're not going to be able to get more than four cars past that, I think. So maybe we can turn this out a little bit more if we need to. But I think for right now, we'll just leave it. Because we can do that, and that'll only change like this, the angle of the switch and stuff. That shouldn't change anything else. So we're going to go like this. There we go. And we're going to continue climbing up this hill. And I think this is our extreme point that we need to match up with. You just have certain points that you have to match. Oh, we're back to 0%. That's why. I'm like, something's wrong here. <laughs> we'll try it again. And then we'll, we'll do some driving. We're going to drive the train back down to the thing and pick up our coal. Whoa! Our coal cars. Teleport. Let's try that again. So it's right over here. And this needs to be like this little bit more. Let's see how that looks. And I just did it again, didn't I? <laughs> Let's try take three. <laughs> uh, episode four, I'm an idiot again. Because that's, that's a new thing. That's never happened before. Shh. All right. We'll try this again. We're going to go like this. There we go. All right. Yeah, I know. You're all like, yep, you definitely are an idiot. That's why we enjoy watching you. <laughs> you thought we were laughing with you. <laughs> uh, yeah. There we go. Like this. And I think we might even be over this next ridge. I think we're over the next ridge. Though I think we do need to... Um, I think... Oh, no, no. Maybe we are. Maybe we can just go start going flat. Okay. So we're going to go like this. See, because we would have had to go way, way around. Yeah, we're going to do the wall still. At least until we get off of this, this uh, side of the hill. Let's see what 0% gets us. Okay, so we need more than 0%. Okay, so 3% will get us right up to where we need to be. Okay. Well, that's perfect. All right. There's our 3%. I think we might even come out a little wide here. Let's come out a little wide. There we go. And then we can do this. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to meet that on its level. So instead of trying to guess, what we're going to do is we're going to br we're going to lay a piece of track out here, and then we're going to bring it across. So we'll just go like this. We're going to turn it this way. There we go. Zero percent. Because this will tell us what level we need to match. Are we going too high? Are we going too low? Yeah, see, we still need to come up a little bit, apparently. Is it? It's not going to let me go across that. How about there? Okay. Yeah, that's at 0%. Okay, so it's a very subtle, it's a very subtle drop there. But it is a drop. Okay. And we're going to put a bridge across here. Just so we can see. We're very close, though. 
Okay. All right. And you know what? Let's just put it across here like this. Then we can see when we've hit that level. When we've come up to that level. So we're going to go like this. I guess we'll do the wall again. And we're going to come up. Kind of wondering if it's worth going at three. Or if maybe it makes more sense to kind of follow this contour up more gently, like that. And let's see if we can lay this down over here somewhere. Let's see how that looks. We're going to come back this way. Yeah, that's a nice big swing into the park, right? Okay, cool. So then what we'll do is we're going to start at the other end and match this. And then we'll just, it'll be whatever slope it's going to be. So this was at 1%. We need to put a sign here. Props. 1%. Down. We're going to put that here. And then the rest of this is 3%, pretty much all the way. So that's over here. Where'd that, where does that segment end? Is it up here somewhere? It's hard to see, isn't it? It was right up here. It was before we went over that ridge. So it was right about here, 3%. So we're going to go signs, text, 3% down. And we'll go like this. OK. So that'll tell us all everything there. We did put our sign on the other end of this, didn't we? OK, and then we're just going to meet that in the middle. So we'll start here. We're going to start on here, because this is going to be the tightest curve. And we're going to go like this. Let's see what angle we want to be at. That looks like it. Okay, and we're going to want this to be at the end here. So we're going to go like this, and this, and then we can start building our thing out from here. Okay, so what if we just connect it and see what happens. That'll tell us where we need to be. Cool. Okay. So that's going to be our general area. Our basic curve. That's a lot of birch trees. <laughs> Aspen trees, whichever they are. They both have white Depends on how far up in the mountains and stuff you are, I think. All right, maybe they're poplars. <laughs> we're going to get some of these out of here just so we can see what we're doing. But yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to put a... Um, this is not going to be the actual track because what we're going to do is we're going to put a switch in here and stuff. We're going to figure out what slope we need and all that, and then we'll, we'll use this as our measuring thing, and we'll put a a switch in here so that we can go to both sides and all that too. But that'll be our that'll be the closest it'll be a nice close sketch. So yeah, we can we can branch out pretty much way back here and then come through. 
Cool. So what we're going to do is before we finish up, we're going to go take our thingies down to the sawmill. We're going to take our cars down to the sawmill. Is this one just not going to go? Yeah, okay. It was doing that thing. Yeah, we'll take our cars down to the sawmill and then we're going to pick up our iron cars and see if we can do that. So let's see. We got 3% down. Let's get this. to make sure that we don't have any deadly obstacles. Okay. And then this can go away. See? Definitely. That. Okay. That. I don't think we laid any past that. Oh, there is. I think there is another segment up there. Yeah, there is. Okay, let's go get rid of that too. There's a wall up here. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> All right. And then here's our segment. And we're good here. We don't have any other duplicate tracks or any of that stuff. Okay. Then we can take this back to the um take this back to the which we call it to the iron. Whoa, okay, yeah, we're still going to need to pull, take the trees out there and stuff too because that's not going to be done yet. So what we need to do is we need to bring this down the hill. Let's grab. There we go. All right. Yeah, we're going to bring this down the hill. We're going to go forward. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to put a 3% grade sign on that on that spot. I'll get that done. And then this one is what percent? Is it two or three? I think it goes back to three again. And I think at three percent, as long as we don't have any super ridiculous um, curves, I think we can just coast. I think three percent is about the limit of where you can just coast and not overspeed. And you basically just coast your way entirely down the hill. All right, the one thing we need to make sure of is we need to make sure of our switch down here because we have a three-way switch. Yeah, it's good. Okay. We have a three-way switch. That one's set to the yard. Okay. We still need to be able to turn this thing around. Are we going to overspeed? I think we are going to overspeed. I don't know. Let's see. 23, 24... Yeah, I guess we are going to have to kind of babysit it down the hill, aren't we? 20. That's too bad. I wonder if I can set one of the brakes on one of these. Let's go like this. What if we set that brake at 100%? Let's see what happens. See if what, what this will regulate it to. Okay, 16. Yeah, it's too much. Okay. Let's see if that does it. I think it's still going to be too much. Yeah, it is. Okay. So the hopper is too much brake. What about What about the cars? Let's see if the cars can Can I get there? <laughs> come on you can do it okay let's go like this these are going to come flying off the tracks because we're already going way too fast no okay we're not cool so we're going 20 oh and it just it just went to two percent that's great let's see what it does here that looks like it's going to work okay 20. Yeah, see, it's even slowing down a little bit. All right. Is that this one? Yeah. Okay. It sure feels like we're speeding up, doesn't it? That was 2%. This is going to come down to 1%, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to come down to 1%. Okay. Cool. 
We're going to let that go. We're going to come back into here. Cool. I hope we don't fly off the track on this. <laughs> ah, it's going to be like Lakeside in Denver where the roller coaster flew into the lake. <laughs> if that ever actually happened. I don't know, it's just some story I always heard. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go here, and then... Are we going to drop off the cars? We still don't have, like, a turnaround and stuff. We, we need, like, a turnaround. Because we can't turn these cars around. Or the engine. We still need to do that at some point. Because we can't even put these cars on the other track. We don't have any way to do it, right? All right. Because I don't want to put the iron cars on here and then try to push them or pull them up the hill like that because then we're not going to be able to... Well, yeah, actually, we would be able to double the hill, wouldn't we? We just need to turn the engine around is all. So if we put... If we were to put... Track here... You can do it. If we were to put track here... And I don't know why it's trying to go backwards. Let's see what happens when we go like this. Oh, yeah, because we got it going the wrong way. We want to put track here. Is it going to go that way or is it still going to go this way? It's still going to go that way. Okay. I guess we're going to have to delete track out of here. Demolish that rail. And then we're going to go like this. We're going to put a little bit of three foot rail here. We don't want too much. We just want to separate our switches here. And then we're going to put a switch here and a siding and stuff. Um, we're going to put a switch to the left. And then we're going to do the same thing on this other end. So we're going to come down to here. And we're going to extend this track out a little bit. Like this. And then we're going to put a track uh, switch off to the right. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to connect all this stuff up. Was I, was I doing like... No, I wasn't doing an incline. Okay. I was wondering if I was doing an incline. It kind of seemed like it, doesn't it? But I think it's just because this is, is on an incline. Okay, so this we want to kind of bring out this way. And this one we're going to bring out this way. And then we're going to connect these. So that'll be our siding. There we go. Okay, so now we have a siding. Do we have the, is that tree in the way or is it still out of the way? It's still out of the way. Okay, so now what we can do is we can drop our cars off here. We still need to turn the train around, don't we? <laughs> we still missed that part. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to put a turntable in here. Let's put a turntable in here. Up here at this level. There we go. That looks good. Did it, why did it, why did it place it up here? That was weird. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Is it really not gonna let me delete this now? I don't wanna delete the wrong thing. Here. It, it, it messed something up. Here, we're going to demolish this. Demolish this. Is it not going to let me delete the turntable? That's terrible. <laughs> the terrible table. Oh, come on. All right. Um, I don't think we can even turn the car around. Ah. Would you just get rid of the... 
groundwork. Let's see. Let's demolish all. We're going to do demolish all. Whoops. That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> demolish all. Is it going to let me? There, it was right there. No, not the track, you stupid thing. All right. I don't think it's, yeah, I can't tell if it's even there. It's. It looks like it's not even there. I think we're just looking at a preview of it or something. Okay, something screwed up there, big time. All right, so we're gonna put this track back. Let's do this quick. Oh, you know what? We still need to put a switch in there too. Er. All right, we're going to put a switch to the left. Um, oh, you know what we'll do? We'll do a three-way switch here. Three-way switch. And then track instruction, three-foot rail. Okay, so we're going to put this rail here. This one's going to go to here. This one is going to go... Let's see if it'll match up with the end of the switch. Yep. Okay, that looks good. And then this one, we're gonna make this one come out this way a little bit. And we'll see if we can get a turntable onto it. To hook onto it. Turntable, let's try that small one. There we go. Okay, that's much better. Is it gonna turn? Yeah, see, that's going to let me highlight it. Is this one even highlightable? Nope, it's not. Okay, so I think this one is just sitting in memory. I really hope it doesn't corrupt the game. But I think it's just sitting in memory and it's not even colliding. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. And we're going to bring this train up a little bit. We're back to night again. Wow. All right. Whoops. We're in center there, right? Yeah, we're on the center. We're going to bring these cars up to the center. No, we're going to do it the other way. There. Nope, the other way. There. Okay. So we're going to put these on the, if we can. Let's see what this does when it hits here. Yeah, see, I think it's ignoring that. I think it's ignoring the, uh, ignoring the turntable, and I think what will happen is the turntable will disappear when we load up the save next time. Okay, so we're going to do this. And then we're going to leave these cars here. And then we can turn our train around. <laughs> All right. We disconnect. Can we? There. All right. Reverser. And then we should be able to. I see. I. It doesn't look like that's the Montezuma with the. I don't think that's going to fit on that turntable, is it? That and the, and the hopper, or the the. Which we call it? Let's see. On the turntable, I don't know that they're going to fit on the turntable. Let me see if the other turntable is bigger. It sure looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's go like this. We're going to demolish rails. We're going to try to demolish this one. There. Okay, we'll see if that works. Is this going to let us turn? Yeah, see, this will let us turn it. Okay, cool. Let's try it. See if we can get this to... Whoops. See if we can get this to go. I think what it does now is it's the... I think they changed the, the bounding box size again. I think they made it huge. Because even when you're like looking at the whistle and stuff, it lets you hit have to jump into the into the engine. I probably should put another piece of track off the other end just in case we do overrun the end. 
Seems like kind of a wise idea. I guess that would fit on. It really didn't look like it was going to fit on that little one. All right, let's see what happens if we can get this to to turn. Can we stand on it and it's going to do this? Oh man. You can do it. I might have to stand on the train to get it to do it. Uh, it looks like it's going to keep moving. As long as I keep pointing at it. That means I should be able to stand on the train. Here, let's stand on the engine. Go like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's not letting me. There we go. Now I'm standing on it. Okay. That was much better. It wasn't letting me stand on the moving part. <laughs> or I was just standing on the wrong part. That's altogether possible. We're getting close. We're getting close. Is there a handle on the other side? Let's see. Yeah, there's a handle over here. Okay. Perfect. And do. I like that it doesn't like leave a ton of momentum, so you can actually get on there. Cool. That looks like it'll work. All right. Now we can get in front of the thing. Cool, and then what we can do is we can pick up, and I think we're going to do this next episode, we're going to pick up our coal cars. We're going to pick up our coal cars, we're going to put those closest to the engine, and then we're going to put those on the back, and then we're going to load up our um, sawmill. We're going to load up at the sawmill, and then get our iron, and then see if maybe we can get our iron up to the, whatchamacallit. But yeah, that's going to be it for episode four. Join me in episode five, we'll see if we can get our smelter working and we'll see you then later <laughs>